Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Tesla stock guys. So Tesla, well we have a red candle today. You know it all comes down to now this week, I think Thursday when we have um, Elon Musk's uh, that annual shareholder meeting and you know the vote is going to happen on his package. I That's what is the only thing that if however it happens can only save the bulls hair on the price action because tesla has done nothing for more than a month but just goes sideways but at the same time it being choppy today's price action again tells us that sellers are just not letting it go above 178 we'll talk about it in depth in this video there's still just almost seven minutes still left for market to close but there is not much price action that's going to change until then so we'll end the video with the market closing in 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 this particular case with tesla so with that hit the like subscribe and also please note none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes all right on the news side guys across the board both sides we have you know these big players coming out they are voting against and some big players are coming out they are voting for and then there are some tweets as well that, you know, Elon Musk says that retail shareholders have voted in favor. Most of them, like 90% of the retails uh, or traders have voted in favor. But look, uh, Thursday, I think 13th of June will tell everything until, until then, you know, uh, we just got to work with the price action. And at this point, it all comes down to that particular day that will uh, really bring the volatility in the stock price M big moves we are the range that we are in this um, you know selling off at 178 all the time just under 180 and then this 175 trying to hold breaking all the time but then 50 days moving ever sitting here as well right so this area of 171 dollars to 180 dollars this zone in this zone it's really tough to trade it's very range bound and you know yeah below 171 or 50 days moving average is definitely looking like a flush to me and above 178 and 180 is looking like a breakout to me to the upside but that's that's that all right so but let's see what the price action is telling us as for right now as you can see we are again rejecting below 20 days moving average today it's still above 50 days moving average but let me take it to the hourly interval and we have a problem the near-term trend line that we formed on intraday we broke so that was the structure change so intraday well here's the thing though my bot uh, my day trading bot still was able to make money today so let me show you that real quick you can see we were still net profitable not as quite high as high i would like to see but we are still net profitable even on the day even on the choppy action price action and our falling day we still ended up making money so yeah and if you need access to my tools links are in the description below i have two trading bots and two indicators all right so let's go back to the hourly interval actually let me take it to the four hours interval that's where you know i can put a lot of uh, real estate on just you know one screen here to show you really the that 178 and 180 dollars such a stubborn area that sellers are sitting over here guys for more than a month any rebound back in that area is just being sold off period today also massive sell-off right and yes i get it that buyers have been trying to hold 173 dollars always but you know that's where the the problem is you know um a selling happens really rapidly it goes up slowly right so staircase up elevators down yes some buying is happening but then you can see the buying rejected bear precisely at our significant level of 175 so if i take you to the five minutes chart you can see some buying started to happen a little bit you know dip buying started to happen but where it rejected precisely at our day trading uh, well, well sorry not day trading but of a significant level precisely right uh, my tools marks these levels automatically for you and well so you can see it's still struggling it's a it's a down day on tesla right while the market is up you know outshining but yeah tesla is really struggling it all comes down to it's thursday it is you know 
uh, if any big breakout or flush has to come, it will come around that day. Now, as for speaking of intraday here on Tesla, you know, I mean, if tomorrow we can get up a 175, yeah, it becomes again intraday long play to the next level, like at least 200 hours moving average or 177. No, don't expect much range. Please know that 178 is a really strong supply zone still acting and it may still continue to act. And if we continue to reject this 175 tomorrow, as if we lose 173 and 19 cents, the problem is, which I'm not liking right now, that it's closing closer to the lower range, 173 and 19 cents. Thus, giving it more opportunity to flush down below $171, thus breaking 50 days moving average. The closer it closed to 50 days moving average in this intraday downside, the more chance it has of likelihood that it will break 50 days moving average. So, but that's the area you are watching if we lose this or find a support here again. Uh, but yeah, there is nothing much I can tell you here. It's That's what it's the technicals and it's a problem that we are facing with Tesla right now. It's yeah, it all comes down to this Thursday and just keep an eye on that. All right, I want to take you over a couple of, you know, um, you know, articles here and the fate of Tesla, it's, you know, and well, is okay, let me take you to some precise ones. Here we go. There's some supporting something against, right? So Tesla shareholder Bailey Gifford supports $56 billion CEO package. And then we have, uh, we have this one, Tesla CEO Musk's 56 billion pay package may not pass vote, Burstein says, you know, so, um, yeah, so you can see there's just, you know, articles on both sides and, and Elon Musk has also something to say as well. He says, it's not cool guys, what are you doing? And, um, then we have this glass Louis uh, company they are saying they don't they are acting as a proxy advisors to their shareholders that hey don't vote in favor of that so you you get my point it's all over the place right we have another one cal strs to vote against tesla then we have norwegian fund to vote against tesla but then kathy wood is supporting the package and then also we have this uh bailey gifford is also supporting the package so it's on both sides and then retail shareholders supporting the package it's on both sides okay um so yeah well <laughs> i i so here's the thing technicals as of today sellers are in more control just know that and um yeah sellers are in more control as of today though just note that and closing it closer to 50 days moving average today is worrying me in the past, we have seen that whenever the price has gone below 175, at least it has closed with a wick at the bottom or support at the bottom, thus showing that buyers are still present. Now, today it's trying to close lower. It's just a worrisome thing. All right. So, market is just about to close. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Market closed. And yeah, we'll see. Um, okay. I want to show you QQ and SPY as well. Um, it's just bullish. I'll talk about in a complete separate video today that I'm on doing on QQ and SPY. But as just so you know, we are still bullish on QQQ here. We never lost the level of 460. SPY is also full on bullish as what I have been saying. And we never lost any break of the level of 531. You know, any pullback is just getting bought back up. Still, we are bullish on this. I'll talk more about it in my another uh, video uh, that I'll do on QQ and SPY later today. But if you wanna, you know, see also my bot performance on QQ and SPY, you know, um, let's plug plug them on. This is on SPY today as well, profitable day. And also we are not profitable last 30 trades data you can see there. And then on QQ as well, we are really, really looking great guys. They're on QQQ though. Yeah, look at it. Only very few red days over the last 30 trades on day trading and net profitable. And um, yeah, you can see that. Yeah, today also good a profit, good profitable day. Anyways, if you need access to my tools, links are in the description below. All right, I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care.